God is going to be bringing his increase, his blessing, and his provisions your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember he said that he will supply all of your needs according to his riches, my God. You see, you serve a rich God. You serve a God that has every single thing. He is the owner of everything you would ever want. He says, and the fullness thereof, everything on the earth belongs to your God. And he will bring these things your way. He said they will locate you in due time. Everything you want will be made available to you. He said, I will turn them and the regions round my ear into a blessing. Ezekiel 36 verse 27. He said, I will make showers come down in their season. There will be showers of blessing. And much more, he said, there will be showers that bring blessing. Dear child of God, God will cause you to be blessed. And much more, it will cause you to be a blessing. God will cause you to increase. And much more, it will make you to cause people to increase as well. God will favor you. And much more, God will make you to be favorable unto men. Dear child of God, the Lord will announce you. But much more, it will cause you to be the reasons that people will be announced in the mighty name of Jesus. What God is simply saying to you today, he would increase you so that everyone around you will experience that increment. He will bless you so that everyone around you will be blessed. Dear child of God, God will provide for you so that everyone around you would have their needs met. People will say, because they have you in their life, everything has been solved. Because God brought you into their life, they have no reasons to worry anymore because God has been using you to touch their lives positively. Dear child of God, God is making you a blessing. And this is what I want you to know. God is changing your dimension. He's bringing you to that realm that he would use you as the expression of his love. Dear child of God, people will look up to you because God have decided to honor you and bring honor through your life to them in the mighty name of Jesus. It came to a point in time that the whole earth became blessed because Joseph rose into power. Because God blessed him, everyone around his family were blessed. This is how God will do for you. This is how God will say to you. This is how God will bring satisfaction into your life. He said the earth has given our increase and God, even our God, oh my God, he says even our God will give us his blessing. Psalm 67 verse 6 and he went further to say, God will give us his blessing. So let all the ends of the earth be in fear of him. He said God will give you his blessing and much more I want you to know this very moment that God will give you his blessing so that you would be a blessing. Dear child of God, all the people around you will know that God has blessed them because God blessed you. The people around you will know that God favored them because you have been favored of God. I want you to know that you'll be the reasons people will rejoice. People will be glad. People will be satisfied because they have you in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to know that God is working wonders. God is doing an amazing thing for you. And it will make you a blessing. He says, the regions around my ear into a blessing. I will turn them into. He said, I will turn them into a blessing. God is turning you into a blessing. God is turning you a superstar of his greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. So every day of your life, you will see God finding expression through you. Every day of your life, you will see God touching lives through you. God is bringing you to that realm, dear child of God. God is saving you so that everyone around you will be saved. God is turning your life around so that everyone around you would experience a breakthrough. Everyone around you would experience an upliftment from God. Everyone around you will know that God has indeed been gracious unto them. Dear child of God, this is the prayer you should make to God today. Just tell him, Lord, make me a blessing. This is the prayer you should go to God to say to him today. Not going to God to bless you, 
not going to God to just turn your story around, but tell God, through me, turn the lives of people around. Tell God, do not just save me, but through me, save many others, because God is saving you that he may use you as an instrument of his power. He's saving you so that he can use you to touch quite a number of lives, because he wants to turn you into a blessing. And you will see God do an amazing thing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. People will literally come to say to you, I'm blessed to have known you because my life saw a significant change. My life saw a significant upliftment because I met you. These will be the words people will say to you. God will make you so relevant that everyone that will come close to you would be very relevant themselves. They will be very blessed. And they knew that it was the contact with you that turned their life around. This is how God will do it. The contact with you will turn the lives of many around. This is how God will do it. So be ready today for God to turn you into a blessing. Be ready today for God to use you as a signature of his goodness on the face of the earth. People will look at you and will say, Bless be unto God for showing us his gracious love and sending you into their life. Dear child of God, this is how God will keep doing it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So it is that time for you to quit saying to God, please bless me. It is that time for you to quit saying to God, please open my door. But rather say to God, use me to open the doors for many. Use me to bless people. Use me to bring people on their feet. Use me to cause people to know the powers of God. Use me to cause people to know the goodness of God. Not just that God has been good to me, but God has through me become good to them. Dear child of God, I want you to know this is the realm. This is the dimension of the blessing of God that is coming to you and that is coming to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will make all the provisions available unto you to achieve this extraordinary feat in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make all the provisions that you need available to you to keep doing these awesome deeds in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Isaiah 30 verse 33, He will also provide rain for your seed that you sow in the ground. That is everything you need to keep reproducing this blessing. God will provide them for you. Yes, the seed that you will use to sow the seed of love, God will make sure none of them is short from you in the mighty name of Jesus. So you will not just be praying for harvest in your life, but rather you'll be asking God to keep increasing that seed in your heart to keep doing these things for many, to keep doing these for his glory and for his praise. And God will do this in the name of Jesus. He will deliver you so that he will use you to glorify himself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, men will see your good works. Oh my God. They will see the good deeds that God is doing through you. Men will see the amazing things coming through your life. Dear child of God, men will see awesome things that God is doing through you. And they will be able to glorify your Father which is in heaven. That was what the scripture says. It says that men will see your good works and they will glorify God. They will see the amazing thing that God has done to them through you. And they will say, Father, we bless you. We appreciate you. We are grateful for your goodness. We are grateful for your love. We are grateful for all the things that you have done unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, this is the reason God is blessing you. This is the reason God has chosen you. This is the reason God has singled you out. This is the reason that God has picked you. So tell God, please help me to express this to the fullness in the mighty name of Jesus. But if you are self-centered, Dear child of God, if you are only concerned about your own self, God may not do these things through you. So tell God to make you liberal, to make you generous, to help you, to think about others even before you think of yourself. This is how you'll be able to achieve this. This is how God will be able to use you to touch many lives. The way you used Jesus, the way you used Moses, the way you used Esther, and many of these great people. God will find you in this season, in this generation. God will find you like he found Noah. God will find you and he will use you to do awesome things on the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. 
So tell God today, I'm open. I'm open to all that you want to do. Just turn me into your blessing. Turn me into what you want to do. Turn me into what you want to use to express yourself on the earth. And I want you to know, God will do it. There are some things God will not come down to do. He will use you. He will use men. And you need to tell God, please find me as one of those channels, one of those vessels you want to use to touch mankind. And you will see God do amazing things through you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.